Okay, so this is the first question in a series of questions uh, to help us revise about integration. So the question is clearly written here. It says, find the volume generated when the region bounded by the curve this, the x-axis and the lines y equals uh, a half and x equals four, lines x equals a half and lines x equals four, and rotated through 160 degrees. Well, it's a volume of revolution, and we ought to know that the volume of revolution if we call it V, is given by this formula into uh, pi integral y squared with respect to x. So that's what we need to be using, so we need y squared. Um, just out of interest as well, while we're here, let's just have a quick look at what this graph's going to look like. So let's just just roughly have a quick look. So it's 2 plus 1 over x. Well, we know 1 over x does this. So plus 2 means it's going to have asymptote, asymptote at 2. So it's going to come down and it's going to go across something like that. Maybe not with that little kink in it um, where this is the x and this is the y. And then what we're doing is we want to integrate it and we want to spin it around the x-axis where the line is if we call this one a half and it's not to scale so that's one so this is just somewhere right over here is four not to scale though okay obviously so what it's going to look like when we spin this round the idea is that if we draw a dotted line down here and down here and this isn't won't necessarily look great but when we spin it around the x-axis actually we're going to make some kind of circular pattern like that and then it's going to be a shape and we're interested in the bit that comes around looks like that so we're interested in this solid shape which is defined by the radius here and here and it's kind of like a like a I don't know some kind of glass blowing or a vase or something on its side spun round or a cup or something like that Okay, so we've rotated this line around the x-axis and we've created this shape. Um, okay, let's uh, let's crack on with it. So we need to know what y squared is. Well, we know that y is two plus one over x. So therefore, y squared is going to be this: two plus one over x all squared. Which, when we multiply it all out, it's a double bracket. We get 4 plus uh, 2 over, sorry, we're going to get 2 times 1 over x is 2 over x. We're going to get f 2 of those, so 4 over x, plus we're going to get 1 over x squared. So we need to integrate this. So the volume of revolution is given by pi integral. Now we can use brackets here, so we've got 4 plus 4 over x plus 1 over x squared with respect to x. So we've got to integrate this with respect to x. And we've got to do it between the limits a half and the limits 4. So let's see what we get. So leave pi outside. Let's do some big square brackets. Well, integrate 4 with respect to x is nice and easy. That gives us 4x. Uh, 4 over x is, when you integrate that, you're going to get, well, the, on the top is differential, isn't it? So you're going to get off the bottom. So you're going to get 4 ln x. You should know that. You should spot that pattern. Plus, well, it's not actually going to be plus. We're going to have a minus. And when we integrate this, this is actually x to the minus 2. If we bring it to the top, the power to the top, so it's x to the minus 2. Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power is 1 uh, minus 1 over x or x to the minus 1 and we need to evaluate that between 1 half and 4 so let's come back over here that gives us pi on the outside and then multiplied by well substitute 4 into all of this we're going to get 16 plus 4 log 4 minus a quarter and then we're going to minus pi lots of substituting a half into here so four halves are two 
plus 4 than half minus or 1 over 2 1 over 1 over 2 is or 1 over a half is actually 2 so it's minus 2 here and then let's go on to this line and then we get so we'll just sort all this out so pi multiplied by well here we're going to get 2 minus 2 they're going to cancel each other out so just the numbers we're going to get 16 minus a quarter which is 63 over 4 16 is 64 over 4 isn't it take away a quarter is 63 over 4 then we're going to get plus 4 ln 4 minus 4 ln half and we want our expression in pi brackets a plus b ln 2 so we've got the pi and we've got that a bit here so if a is 63 over 4 we need to get this in terms of ln 2 so we need to rewrite these in terms of ln 2 well there's a couple of things we can do here so we get well let's leave the first bit 63 over 4 plus well, if we write this in terms of ln 2, this is ln of 2 squared minus 4 ln, and this is, what is this, 2 to the minus 1, so we can rewrite this, bringing the power to the front law, we get 63 over 4 plus 8 ln 2 power to the front here power to the front is going to give us plus 4 ln 2 so minus 1 times minus 4 is plus plus 4 ln 2 and we're almost done because now we can add these together because we've now got them both as ln 2's and then our final step is therefore just pi multiplied by 63 over 4 plus 12 ln 2 and that's in the expression that we wanted, where a is 63 over 4, or 15.75 in decimal form, and b is 12. Okay, so now we're finished. Go back and check. You must know how to do use this formula, and you just need to, basically, it's just squaring y, and then just going through the process of integration. In this case, the integration wasn't too difficult, but what we were asked to do is, uh, is manipulate some logarithms at the end. Okay, so pause the video, we'll play it back if you need any more help.